C Sharp has evolved over the years. Hit the subscribe button and stay tuned as we'll look back at some of the new features that are in C Sharp 9 through to C Sharp 11. And as a bonus, we'll also show you how to find out about new C Sharp 12 features. We're going to have a look back at C Sharp 9 and one of the features was target typed object creation. We have a class here of product. If we go into the product controller, we're initializing a new instance of product. What we can do though is we can declare the variable as a type of product and that means that when we initialize the instance we can remove the product type there because we already know it's a product type. This also works with constructors so in our product class we're going to add a new constructor and we're going to pass in a name variable which we're going to set to the property. Then it's just a case of simply adding the name when we create the new instance. Next, we'll have a look at switch relational and logical patterns. In C Sharp 9, we're able to add relational patterns such as greater than and less than, and logical patterns such as the AND statement and OR statement into a switch statement. I'll demonstrate how that works. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the postage based on the price. So we're going to call the method postage, and we're going to pass in a price as a parameter. This is now where we do the switch statement. So if we say that the price is under 20, then we're going to mark the postage as 599. If it's equal or greater than 20, but less than 40, we're going to declare the postage at 399. If it's 40 or over, but under 60, we're going to declare it as 299. And by default, we're going to set it as zero. Moving on to C Sharp 10, and we're going to focus on file scope namespace. Initially with a namespace, you had to wrap curly braces around the class. But as part of C Sharp 10, we could remove the curly braces and add a semicolon to the namespace. As a result, we can remove the tab from the product and it helps with cleaner coding. Global using directive is the next C Sharp 10 feature. In the product controller, we're importing this namespace to resolve the product type. What we can do as part of the C Sharp 10 features is create a new file, which we're going to call global using. If we copy and paste this namespace and we're going to copy it into the global using, we can add the global keyword and this now will be imported as part of the application. As a result, we no longer need this. Uh, it's still resolving the product type in the controller. Required members is a C Sharp 11 feature. We can mark properties as required. And when we create a new instance of it, we need to set a value to any required properties. So for this name property in the product class, we're going to mark it as required. And when we create a new instance of it, because we haven't set a name value for it, it's throwing an exception. Let's add a name to it. So we're going to call it my product. And the exception disappears. List patterns is another C Sharp 11 feature, which allows for pattern matching in an array or a list. We're passing in an integer array as a parameter, and we're ensuring that the pattern for the array is 1, 3, and 5, so the my numbers must be a length of 3 and contain the values of 1, 3, and 5 to return true. If we have a look at this instance down here, we've added an underscore. Now the underscore means that we can have any value as part of the middle value, but the length still has to be 3. If we have a look further down, we've got two dots in the middle. This essentially means we can add any values with these two dots. So we could have a length of four or five or however many we want. So we could have one, two, four, five, that would return true. Or we could have one, three, five, and that would still return true. Underneath here, it's a similar scenario, but we're saying that the last index can be greater than five. So in this instance, we could have one, two, six, and that would still pass, or one, two, five, that would still pass, and 1245, that would still pass, and return true. If you want to know more about the new features in C Sharp 12, view our video playlist. It contains information about primary constructors and collection expressions. In addition, it contains a number of videos that are related to .NET 8.